Um, this video uh, recorded live during my blog TV show called Indie Spotlight Live here on Blog TV every Sunday night. My channel screen name is Risky Business 04. Um, we do a show about independent musicians and things going on in the music industry. And I got to tell you guys, this thing on YouTube has really got me really wired up. Um, we were just talking about how they're killing the music category on YouTube. And in the uh, chat room, some of my friends have brought up some very brilliant points. Um, my friend Deb from the Unsigned Musician Show says, Stomp on the indies to competition. Their product sucks, so they need to kill the good stuff. Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to go through the notes that I typed up for myself on this commentary, and then I'll click back in the chat. Um, recently, from what I understand, and I have not been able to get the, a whole lot of information, but I got a, the gist of it, okay, on this. But apparently YouTube has changed the music category, putting more mainstream musicians in the spotlight and shutting out the indie artist. Uh, I think this is a bad idea for a number of reasons. First, why feature music that can be heard everywhere and anywhere at any time on any number of different sites? YouTubers looking for music generally are looking for something different. That's why there are so many independent artists on YouTube. Working in the business world myself, I know as a rule that ignoring what could be a large part of your tar target audience is never a good idea. I understand that YouTube is a free site and we don't pay money to use it and money is made off the advertising and it's made off the mainstream music paying money to be there and all that good shit. At the same time, this is a formula that's been tried before and it doesn't work. Here's a great example. Great example. MySpace. Okay. MySpace used to be a great place for indie musicians until four of the big record companies bought into it. Now it's all about the majors and the indies that helped build that site and make it what it is are crowded out. When you go into my spam, oops, I mean MySpace, what do you see now? A big corporate advertisement with all the mega media whores right on the front page. As a result of this, indie musicians are bailing out on MySpace, taking their fans with them. The mindset about the company being more important than the little people seems to have infected MySpace, and as a result, the site is on the way out and is not the popular or the in place on the internet to be. MySpace used to be the place for indies to go, not anymore. Now they got Reverb Nation. They went and made their own place. The same thing could easily happen to YouTube. And this is what surprises me, guys. The people running Google, which owns YouTube, at least as far as I knew, we're smarter than this. You have to admit that the Google people have shown, for the most part, absolutely brilliant business sense, and that's how come they got so big. I didn't think that they would stoop to the same level and use the same failed strategy as the music industry is using and is failing MySpace, which at one time, as we all knew, was huge. Trying to shut out the indie artist is one of the dumbest things to do because they will find another site that will work better for them. People who are into indie music will follow them. Original music by an independent artist is gaining popularity. This shows my shows, Indie Spotlight Live's longevity, to say nothing about how long Deb's unsigned musician show has been on the air, is proof of that. People are hungry for it. People are dying for it. And they will find it. YouTube used to be the place. Not anymore. YouTube could be at the front forefront of it like it has been. Or, at their present direction, they could be at the back of the bus with the MySpaces of the world, while a site which welcomes originality can be at the front. I can only hope that YouTube will make a right call, because that's where we find a lot of these people. You know. <coughs> exactly, Deb. Illegal downloads are not hurting the industry. The indies are, because they make real music. <sighs> Yeah, that's exactly it. And you know what? Rob from our friend Disperminator, Rob Mazurik, um, Indies will always create their own sites anyway. Yeah, that's a very good point. Now, this is what the industry does not embrace. And this is what MySpace stopped embracing. And apparently now YouTube is the free spirit of the Internet. You know the old exp expression, if you build it, they will come. Um... Well, it's independents and free thinkers and creative people that help make these sites into the big powerhouses that they are. And the fact of the matter is, well, okay, they don't—they want to turn their back on the little people. Little people will go, see ya, and they will go <laughs> if they have to. They will make their own, and people will go to it. You cannot stop freedom of expression on the internet, no matter how hard you try. 
Yes. Kelly, if you sing it, they will come. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> but really, that that will, you know, you know, exactly it. People want the real deal. People are sick and tired of this homogenized, bastardized versions of music that you hear on the radio now. They go on YouTube to hear something different. Or even if it's a song they heard on the radio, hear a better version by an independent artist to cover. Yes. Not endorsing covers, but let's face it, it happens. But um, they don't get on there to listen to the same garbage that they've had to listen to all day long. They want something different. They want real music. And the, pop the increasing popularity, in my opinion, of independent artists shows this. It demonstrates this extremely well. <laughs> but they have cool flippy hair and stuff, so they're famous. And they got about as much talent as my left nut. Seriously. Some of these major artists, okay? Taylor Swift. God, I just want to get a gun and shoot out every speaker of every radio anytime I ever hear her. And these cheesy ass Disney fied songs. Give me a break. I'd rather hear I'd rather hear some some raw real life shit as opposed to some high school bubblegum pop crap. And this just piss you guys off. Corporations telling us what they think they want, we want to hear. <sighs> you know, the thing is, YouTube is the place where all the independents are. You know, everybody's got a video. Everybody's got their music on there. It's a great way to get exposure. You can embed the players. You can share it. You can do this, that, and the other thing. You know, kind of like blog here on Blog TV, the opportunities are the the sky's the limit. But now they want to put a glass ceiling in there, and it's like the little people are on this side of it, and the Carrie Underwears and the Taylor Sniffs and 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 the freaking whoever else is on the top. People don't want that. People will run from that. And you know. Yeah, I've no I've noticed that too, Kelly, on a, on a number of places. But you know what? There there's got to be other video sharing sites that would welcome the independent musician, embrace them with open arms, because they know what they bring. When the musician comes on a site, and this th th listen to this, Google boys, when a musician comes onto a site, not only do they bring themselves and their musical talent, they also bring their fans. Exactly, Deb. They bring their fans, and with that, they their fans share the music because YouTube's got it easily set up. You can share it anywhere: Facebook, MySpam, wherever. You can pass it along to your friends. You network that way. I think this is what the industry has a problem with. You know, I remember when we had Pete Berwick on the show uh, back in January of '09, and Pete said, "You know, the industry wants to keep the mindset of no, no, no. You can't do it on. You need on your own. You need me. You gotta have me." Well, the thing is, with the power of the internet, uh, no, we don't, major industry. So uh, kiss off, and there's the door. Well, now they're trying to set it up so yeah, you actually do have to kiss their ass because that gives them control. I honestly think that's what it is. Exactly, Rob. The majors are like drug dealers. They want to own all the turf on the internet to monopolize the music trade. I completely agree. I completely agree. And, I mean, but you know what? Stupid shit like this, I think, is what is becoming MySpace's downfall. Who goes on MySpace anymore? Anybody? No. Screw MySpace. The same thing will happen to YouTube. Why watch the same crap I see on TV all the time? Nobody wants that. Nobody will have any part of that. People will move to other sites, and they will, f they will email their fans saying, Hey, listen, I'm over here now. So true, Kelly. Yeah, anyway. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, do read up more on this and have a great week.